Oh, knife. It came up before, I just don't know when. Well, she has a knife. But, um, she's been cooking, I guess. She's been cooking him his favorite meal. Um, she's his wife. And he's asleep and she doesn't want to wake him because he's ill. That's why she's sad. Because he's ill and he might die. It's kind of a sad story, so I'm not sure how it ends. It still confuses me why... Why are they showing her a bunch of seemingly unrelated pictures? Are they really trying to test for her mental health or... Not sure. It was, this was the day that she came in to say that Simon's been found in the house, right? I think so, the 27th. Scissors. Just that one time. Scissors was brought up when Eve talked about cutting her hair. Simon's coat. I'm just going down my list now. <sighs> okay. Um, I parked up on the street. It was busy, so I parked down the end of the road. I walked up to the house. I knocked on the door. No answer. I took my keys out of my bag. I unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. I could tell because the key wouldn't turn when I tried to turn it to the left. I walked in. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes on the shoe rack. Um, I shouted out for him. I walked straight into the kitchen. He usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. He wasn't there. I touched the kettle. It was cold. Um, I looked quickly into the living room. Nothing. I walked upstairs to the bedroom. He wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. And then I had a shower. Whilst I was in the shower, the phone rang. I think it was Eric, his boss. I didn't answer it. Then I came out and I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, but I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. I spoke to him. Then I called Simon's parents. And then I decided to come and see you. I feel like we've seen this clip before, but it did have a not seen sign just now, right? It could be the thing with how they're trying to determine if she's lying or not again, but if that was actually a new clip, that was nearly word for word the first clip. That's it's very rehearsed, not organic at all. Like little details, like. Uh, I touched the kettle, it was cold. She said it the exact same way as she did the first time, which is... not organic. Argument! Yes. He left after the argument. It was about... 8 o'clock. Not anything we didn't know already? Argue, maybe? Ah, one clip! When you've been married for ten years, stuff accumulates. You could argue about anything. And he's so nice. That doesn't help. He tries to smooth things over, and that just makes it worse. We're both passive-aggressive, so we never normally argue directly about anything. Hmm, I wonder if argue catches argued. Oh my goodness, I haven't really been searching the past tenses. We could have missed quite a few things. Her story is that she'd waited for him to come back. She put on my wig, some of my clothes, pretended to be me. They talked. She'd enjoyed being me. He said he wanted to be with me. Then he took out a present. 
another mirror, just like the one he'd given her earlier. <laughs> that unique present. She went crazy, smashed the mirror. They argued, screamed. He hit her. So she grabbed a piece of the mirror and just swung it round. She cut his throat clean open. She'd only meant to scare him off. Another important clip. Um, how murder happened? I don't know. Uh, one thing that I really wonder is if they are twins. She talks about her like she was there. Is it really likely that she was there at the same time? Because Simon had just given... Let's see. Yeah, Simon had just given Eve a mirror. And then Hannah went on to argue right away? Like, can you imagine this? It, like, that's, it doesn't seem to make sense because they shouldn't be in the same room right now. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I want to check the DB tracker. Oh, seems like we got quite a few more. Uh, I don't know if we have 50% yet. I think there was an achievement at 50% and I haven't seen it pop up yet. So I guess we're still less than half way through. Photo. Nothing. Picture. Oops. Wow, how did that work? Oh, that is so weird. What? Huh. Very early on, Hannah mentioned that she got an inheritance. Hmm. Not important. Nursery? I think that came from the word nursery. Or the phrase nursery rhyme. Not important. Pub. Alcohol. Drinks. Not drugs. I mean, he drinks, but never very much. He goes to the pub and has one or two. Sometimes we go together. He drinks wine with food, but nah, he doesn't have any kind of drinking problem. Hmm. God, I don't know. Could be anyone. Maybe someone follows him back from the pub. But why would he let them in? It doesn't make sense. Because he knows them. That was a pretty big clue. Alcohol. Um, drink. Alright. Let's see here. Does any other word make sense? Oh, there's one word I forgot earlier when we were looking at both sex and stuff. STD. Okay. Not important. Let's see here. Scar. Hmm. I wonder if she ever explicitly says the word twin. Because we assume twin, but she, I, I think. I can't remember. I can't say for sure. But she hasn't said the word twin so far. Twins? <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? Do you have twins? Or do you have a twin? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Twins? There were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins, magical. We were the princesses. We had a poster of Princess Diana from the newspaper up in our attic. Had a pride of place. And underneath we used to put all our special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we felt for her. 
her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. Oh, okay, I think that's the 50% one. Well, we're getting somewhere. I wonder if she says sister or sibling. When she went home, Simon had a birthday tea waiting. Afterwards, she told Simon about me, told him I was pregnant. She wanted me to move in with them, this sister he didn't know she had. She knew that instant. The look on his face. That seems like it's important, but I can't place the importance on... I can't say why right now, but it seems like... Hmm. How should I label this, though? Is this back when they first got married? Told him I was pregnant. So now this doesn't make sense too. So Eve and Hannah are assuming that Simon didn't know they were related, but that's completely impossible if they have the same face. Like he would at least question it, right? But it sounds like they just assumed that he would just not know. What? Oh, I don't even know what to call this clip. Uh -huh. Hannah and Eve propose Eve moving in with them. She sent him out of the house, kicked him out, <laughs> called me up, crying, and I went round. I guess I had a feeling I could hear something was wrong in her voice, but I wasn't sure what it was. She called me sister on the phone. She never calls me that. She wouldn't call you a twin either, huh? It just seems like the whole time they just consider themselves two halves of one being. I remember there was a clip before that she mentioned... Um, Eve mentioned if they touched, they thought that they would become one. Maybe a me bit metaphorical, but... My sister is gone. And she's never coming back. That sounds very scary. Well, since we're on the family line, how about father? Father or mother? I still think it's kind of strange how they emphasize that the father was a mushroom expert, but he died from eating mushrooms. Are they trying to tell us that something is wrong here? I would have been a good mother. I was young, but I would have been a good mother. She was a girl, by the way, the baby. We were going to call her Sarah. Simon wanted to call her Ava after his nana, but I didn't want her to have a symmetrical name. Didn't want. But why? Why would you not want that? She doesn't, they don't like each other? Hannah doesn't like you well, anymore? She wasn't my real mother, but she raised me. Florence. Do you want to hear the story? It's a real life fairy tale. Fairy tale, that's that's one that I've been meaning to search. But there's just so many things going on. Let me continue with the sibling first. Okay. Let's jump to fairy tale. And the glaciers. I worked there some weekends and someone had a part-time job there too. That was Eric's generosity. He was always good at helping out other people's children. Simon was quiet, more thoughtful than the other boys. Even then, he had a sense of craftsmanship. He wasn't always rushing stuff. Boys that age are just running around like headless chickens most of the time. You know? Plus, he had that look. 
kind of like a fairy tale prince from one of my books. <laughs> Simon never cheated on me. He was devoted to me, and I was devoted to him. Nothing in life is easy. We were good to each other. Life isn't a fairy tale. You do what you can. Prince. I don't know if anyone really changes. You just become more yourself. Simon was my prince, and that hasn't changed. Which, nothing. Any more fairy tale words I can think of? Maybe happy ending. End. Yes, like a story. A beginning, a middle, and an end. I thought it maybe sound suspicious. It's not a normal thing to do to drive to the other end of the country. I just, you know, I wanted to keep it simple. I know it was stupid not to tell you everything. Saying I spent the night in Glasgow when my husband went missing, I thought it would you know, distract you from what was important. It's different now. Now he's... Hmm. Well, I can't think of any more fairy tale related words at the moment. What about accident? Surprised we haven't searched for that one yet. Oh! Well, there's a reason why. Can we go a little bit broader with love? Thanks. Please find Simon. I love him so much. Oh, she was done already. No. I mean, he was... Everyone loves Simon. He was so... nice to everyone. He loves me. Cute. You must love them very much. What ages are they? And randomly showing her his kids, the police's kids. I don't know. Ah, oh, hate. Hmm. Hmm. Moth. The word moth came out a few times in the beginning. Oh, once only apparently. Fight. Wow, surprisingly. Eagle? I don't even remember what eagle came from. Journal. Alternative word for diary. None. Yeah, I guess they would have to be really careful about using alternative words because that makes it exponentially harder to play the game. Like I said, I think I was popping out to get something, ran out of something, had to grab something. I sometimes drive too fast. If you want, you can arrest me for that. Hmm. This is a nice of them. This is where you take people when it's time to arrest them. Well, my theory was right from last time, how the room being different was a little bit significant. 
can you arrest someone who doesn't exist? Are you saying you don't exist? Oh dear. Exist. Exists? Hmm. Child. I'm just slowly working my way down the list in no particular order now. Biscuit tin. That was um Florence's stuff. Hmm. Tin? Cat flap. Oh, I feel so absurd typing in some of these, but I mean, if you're a detective, you gotta try every possibility. No, no cat. My parents had a cat before they died called Domino. It was this little black thing with white dots. And we never did anything about the cat flap, but if you were thin, you could maybe squeeze through it. I don't think they used the cat flap. Sure, I think. I do all the bills and paperwork and handle all the money stuff, so it should be easy for me to find. Do you want them dropped off to you? I guess the police is trying to determine if Simon had any debts or anything like that. No. Everyone loved Simon. He's a glazier, he doesn't have much money. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. Trying to brainstorm for people who could have hurt Simon? If you put me on, you've been framed. <laughs> I want the money. Hmm. Visa? Brighton, that was one of the places I missed last time. And apparently not important. Hotel. And the hotel said he was there? Huh. Okay, you got me. I'll confess. We were there. It was a dirty weekend. Simon was going to expense it, pretend it was a business trip. I used a made-up name. We stayed at the hotel, had room service, didn't leave the room. Had a great view of the river, and you could hear the church bells. Like you said, it was very romantic. Huh. Is that their honeymoon, or, uh, they lied about something, but not sure how that fits in with everything else. How about confess? Hmm. Romantic? It was supposed to be a secret. Just because Simon is dead doesn't mean I have to give up all his secrets. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to Simon. No one murdered my husband because he cheated his expenses for a romantic weekend in Oxford. Okay, that seems to be just a red herring then. Nothing else happened that night. We talked, then I said goodbye. Then next week I was sitting in the bar again and there he was. And again the next week. He offered to buy me a meal. I told them I had already eaten, um, and so we got chips and ate on the beach instead. When we said goodbye, he asked me to kiss him. <laughs> Romantic. Was that when Simon knew about Eve, though, or? Oh god, my head is all jumbled up. Ooh, jackpot. I haven't been into work. I've been... I mean, I guess I've just been waiting. Waiting to hear from you. Hear from my husband. I 
when you suspect someone of murdering their husband. Huh. So she's definitely being suspected on this day. With the photos and all. She's crying, I guess. She's sad because she thought she saw her husband with another woman. But it's okay because she finds out it wasn't her husband, it was his brother. And so it's fine. Are they asking her to make up stories from one frame of photo or something? I guess that would kind of reveal what a person thinks about because, you know, we all would make up different stories from the biases and experiences we all have. Wife? Hmm. What else? Bin bag. That's the assignment was in. Nope. Bag. When will the police let me back in the house? They let me take a bag of clothes with me, but. <sighs> Smith. That's their last name. I don't think this will come up. Yeah. Driving. Driving was mentioned a few times. Cars. I wasn't in the house all of Friday night. After the argument, after Sam left, I left too. I was upset and I wanted to get away. So I took the car. Okay, so they had their argument and then she decided to drive across the country? Is that what happened? To Glasgow? Mm. I left the next day, Saturday. I slept for a few hours in the car. And when I woke up, I came straight back. Uh, Simon wasn't returning my calls and I wanted to try and make up. I got back to the house and Simon wasn't there, and I... Oh, Is there a bin? Well, that was terrible. Um, what? Was she pregnant here? Barf. Vomit. <laughs> yeah, I pulled over and slept in the car. This was just by the side of the road. I was exhausted. Why don't we search Barf and Vomit right now? I don't think it will... Oh. Vomit. Oh! Hmm. I'm slowly starting to run out of words. Coffee! Coffee came up... Uh, oh, wow, surprisingly. Back eight years back, it was a present to myself. I shouldn't even be drinking coffee with the baby. It's been hard trying to give it up. I think they say you can have one cup. Was she talking about the tattoo? So she's trying to convince us that the tattoo, she got it eight years ago. And then, you know, the other person didn't or the other footage didn't have the tattoo. That's a very strong case for the twin thing, I guess. If she's not Coffee, lying. I guess. Milk and sugar. Always. I forgot why I wrote that one down. Mm. He has a wallet, a huge, silly thing, leather, real leather, I think. He packs it full of stuff, business cards, receipts, lottery tickets. He always carries it in his back pocket. I think that's why he's got a bad back. He sets the discs. A 
haven't seen it, so he must have it on him. He always takes it out of his back pocket before when he comes in, if he's in the house. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Almost forgot about these two. I got a job to contribute, you know. Doug knew someone and I got a job as a dinner lady at the primary school. He said it didn't matter if I could cook or not, just don't poison the kids. So you see, it's always been complicated between me and Simon. It's never just been the two of us. There's always been... Pressure. From the beginning, with the baby leading to the marriage, I got a job. To other sorts of influence. Wait, I don't really get how this is complicated though. Who is Doug? Who is Doug? His body. Didn't look real. And his throat. Didn't look like his throat had been cut. And I didn't see his glasses. There's these thick glasses. It doesn't always work. Body was actually one that I was gonna search. Ooh, another song. Really? Okay. Here's the rest. I'm not sure if I got any information out of that, the second part of the song. How do we not get this one? I thought we searched Wind in the Rain earlier. Maybe I put it as a keyword, but I didn't search it. But I'm very, very confused. Why? How is this even appropriate at a questioning thing? She's, like, chilling with the police. Singing songs. I wonder if they already suspect that maybe she's mentally not there at this point. Because this seems... Not quite appropriate. Uh, what was that word just now? Oh, oh. What word did I search just now? Body. Okay. Doug. Who is Doug? Yeah. I've been mad to Doug and Eleanor's and they're very worried. I feel sorry for them. About? Um, I hoover my dust every week. 
maybe less. I once asked Eleanor how often I should dust, and she said, if people ask, tell them you do it once a week, but every few weeks is okay. I think she was just trying to make me feel better. I mean, when I was there, she was hoovering every day, you know, ran an ordered house. You know how that generation is, putting on a brave front. Hmm. She has secret stashes of cigarettes. Doug doesn't even know she smokes. When I was there, I saw her. She has these sort of porcelain vases, ornamental, next to the Reader's Digest books. Cigarettes inside. And she still has them. I mean, last time I was there, I looked in a vase. There was a fresh pack. I mean, all those years of marriage, and she still has a secret like that. Secret. Sounds like Doug and Eleanor are friends with Simon and Hannah, and they're married. But um, I had a thought earlier, but I kind of lost it. Let me see if I can remember it by looking at the subtitles. Yeah, yeah Hoover. What does Hoover mean? Is that is that vacuuming? Yeah, it sounds like the housewives would talk about this. 1984. Wasn't the book. in the end. We were living at Doug and Eleanor's. I lost the baby at the end of spring and my parents died in the summer. It was a hot summer, a heat wave. So when they discovered the bodies, it was just awful. Because of the circumstances, them dying together like that, they brought in a lot of police, a forensic entomologist. I had to look that up. It was because of the heat. It's just awful. Oh, don't even remind me of the heat. I am sitting in an oven right now. Talking about the heat is making me want to sweat. Eleanor. Yes. I speak with Eleanor at least once a day. Not that there's anything much to say. <sighs> okay, that... Whoa. Yes. How does she even drop it? Wow, look at that's... <laughs> Hey, I wonder if we search fuck, could we find instances of her being kind of agitated? Oh, that's right after the coffee, I think. No, I'm okay. Fuck. It doesn't seem like it's that hot, though. Are you arresting me? No. Fuck off. I guess they kept her overnight. And then the next day, they brought her into the other room for questioning. Hmm. How much do we have now? Wow, we got quite a bit more. 